Is he serious with this lawnmower right now? Cannot work with these people. What's going on guys? My name is David and welcome back to this week's video. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, we finally get to return to desserts. <clears throat> I know a ton of you were really enjoying the couple week long stretch where I did almost no desserts at all, only because before that I did one almost every single week. But there are the most popular suggestions and this one looks absolutely delicious so I gotta get back to it at least once. This week, I have been suggested to do the tiramisu crepe. P.S. There's a reason I did not say that word in the middle. Tiramisu mile, 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 whatever. But nevertheless, this is one of those recipes that right off the bat, it looks like it has the potential to be a 10 out of 10. It's got a couple steps before we get to try it though, so let's get right into it. Okay guys, even though this is a dessert, it has some different ingredients that we haven't necessarily used in the past. Those are going to be consisting of some flour, a boatload of eggs, some milk, some confectionery sugar, some instant coffee, a couple tablespoons of normal white sugar, some mascarpone cheese, and some butter. The first step in this entire process is to grab six eggs, crack them all open, and then find a way to separate the yolk from the white. Now thanks to BuzzFeed, I do remember a method where they used a empty water bottle to kind of suck the yolk up, so I tried that and oh damn, this thing works pretty freaking good. Look at that, sucking each yolk up like nothing, this thing sucks almost as much as one of those reaction channels. Oh! Are my jokes even funny anymore? I find them funny. But the next thing you gotta do is grab yourself a hand mixer and then beat the heck out of these egg whites. It took about four to five minutes for me to get the eggs to this point and you know it's ready when you take the mixer out and it holds its shape just like that. But we can set those off to the side now and begin to create our filling. So in a nice big bowl you're gonna grab your six egg yolks from the eggs that you've already separated and then combine them with one and a half cups of powdered sugar. Beat that until the two ingredients are thoroughly combined at which point you're going to add 16 ounces of your mascarpone cheese. Beat that into the mixture as well and finally we can add our whipped egg whites. But don't beat those. Just lightly fold them in until they're all combined with your spatula or a wooden spoon. And now we have to chill it in the fridge for at least two hours. In the meantime though, we can begin with the actual crepes. And those are gonna be made up of three and three quarters of a cup of flour, eight, yes, eight eggs. I told you that this thing was gonna need a boatload of eggs and I was not exaggerating. Freely, I hope you're not watching this. But once you got the mixture well combined, you're going to then add five tablespoons of melted butter, combine that in as well, three tablespoons of sugar, and once that is mixed in, we can finally begin to thin it out with four cups of milk. Gradually, I poured in a couple tablespoons at a time, mix it all together. Eventually, you'll be able to switch over to a whisk when it gets easy enough to mix. And just make sure that you mix this super, super thoroughly and add the milk nice and slow. Once you've added all your milk, you're gonna throw in three tablespoons of your instant coffee. Once I got that all mixed up, I headed over to the stove where I grabbed myself a pan, sprayed down some cooking spray, and then spooned on about a half cup of the batter. This cooked up really super quick. I'd say it only needed about a minute on both sides. I think it's right. It's got a weird color to it and some weird dark spots here, but I've never really cooked crepes before, so I couldn't really tell you if these are correct or not. But I just kept going, following the same steps, giving them a couple minutes on both sides, flipping them up nice. They were really easy to flip and all that stuff too. They maintain their shape really well. And towards the end, I finally started getting the hang of it. I also kept them on a cooling rack over here to try to prevent them from getting all soggy. Finally, we can assemble this thing. So, I grabbed a nice big square plate, threw one down, then a layer of the cream, spread that out nice and flat, and then did that approximately 12 more times. First a crepe, then about a half cup of your filling, then another crepe, back and forth, you guys get the point. This did take a little bit longer than I would have wanted it to, so I passed some of the time with some 1975 songs. <laughs> Oh 
boy, ladies and gents. Look at this beauty. I topped it all off with some cocoa powder and then attempted to get a nice big slice out of it and wow. You can see each and every individual layer in there. I'm very happy about that. I plopped that onto a smaller plate along with some chocolate syrup and no more talking because I need to try this. So I really, 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 really want this thing to taste amazing. As far as looks go, it's already got a 10 out of 10. But taste... Yes, I am relieved. The filling to crepe ratio is absolutely perfect. The filling isn't overly sweet or dense. My only concern with this was that it does have a crap load of raw egg in it. I'm not really sure of the science behind that and how it all works for it to be safe to eat, but it tastes freaking amazing. The texture of the crepe could be a little bit better. It might be that it's supposed to be like this, but it's kind of on like the mushier, wet side. It's not really holding its form that well. All in all, I've already complained too much about this thing. It is really good and worth your time. 9 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's recipe. If you did, please, please smash a big like on this one for me. I think we should see how quickly we can get 5,000 likes. And I'm gonna sit here and wait until you do. Thank you, I love you. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button right underneath this video. I post videos every single Thursday and Sunday. My social media links will be right down in the description if you want to go check those out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an awesome week, all that good stuff. And I'll see you right back here on Sunday. Peace.